Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. As spring starts warming things up across the Lone Star State, bees get to work pollinating our favorite wildflowers and helping keep Texas beautiful. They also get to cranking out a whole lot of honey. And over in Navasota, there's a farm dedicated to keeping the bees of Grimes County in a great mood. There's nothing like the spring around the Brazos Valley. The wildflowers are always fantastic when things start to warm up around the Lone Star State. And that makes this area the perfect place for a little pollination. Maybe that's why there's such a buzz at the Bee Weaver Honey Farm near Navasota. A bee business that's been around for over 130 years. It's gotta be the longest run bee operation in the state. Uh, probably in the country. Daniel Weaver is the fourth generation of beekeepers in his family, and it's a business that's been on the same plot of land since the 1800s. My great-grandparents moved here after the Civil War. They were given 10 hives of honeybees as a wedding gift, and they turned that wedding gift into an enterprise that was subsequently operated by my grandfather, Roy Weaver Sr., his sons, and then subsequently me. Daniel's right-hand man is Roosevelt Robinson, and he's been with the company longer than Daniel's known about the birds and the bees. I've been working here since 1966. Seems like the longer I work, the more I learn, and the more I become to love it. One of my earliest memories of beekeeping is from right about the time Roosevelt started working for Weaver Apiaries. They call me King Bee. So I'm going to put the smoke on and this smoke helps to calm them down. Roosevelt gives tours daily and showcases the benefits of bees. If you got bees, your crops going to do better, your fruit going to do better, your garden going to do better. Good pollination. It's fairly rare for someone to get stung. Although, you know, anytime you're around honeybee colonies, that's a that's a risk you assume. <laughs> I didn't see that sign anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, let me get it. <laughs> Seeing the busy bees doing their work is fascinating, but making honey isn't the only bread and butter of Bee Weaver Farms. It's actually the breeding. Our bees are just a little tougher than the rest, if you will. In the late 80s, varroa mites were found in the United States, and these small parasites wreaked havoc on the honeybee population. So for, uh someone who doesn't know much about beekeeping and varroa mites, what exactly is a var varroa mite? Varroa? Varroa. Varroa mite. See, I don't even know how to varroa. say it. It's um, very much like a tick, and it reproduces in the brood or the developing baby bees, and then can also be present on adult bees as well. It can be quite devastating if the bees that you have are not capable of coping with them. When the parasites found their way to Texas, Bee Weaver Farms wasn't spared. Well, we killed thousands of hives, but that didn't stop varroa mites from spreading everywhere like wildfire. And it quickly became apparent that the conventional means of managing varroa mites required constant application of toxic chemicals in the colony. And that was an anathema to me. I, I just, I could not get my head around having to constantly put poisons inside of colonies. So Daniel and his father concentrated on breeding a better bee through natural selection. We were able to develop a population of bees that can survive and thrive in the presence of varroa mite infestation without any application of toxic chemicals. They do it through their behavior and physiology and immunology, which is all a little bit different in our bees than in standard managed stock. By 1999, none of our colonies were treated and haven't been treated since. See now, this is what we call brood here, and all this here gonna hatch out within less than a week's time. So that let me know this queen doing a marvelous job. With the bees thriving at Bee Weaver, the honey here might actually be a little bit sweeter. The honey that comes out of our hives 100% chemical free. Mitzi Camp runs the Bee Weaver store. If it's got to do with bees, we have it. She gave me a taste of the different types of honey on hand. This is the honey straight out of the out of the hive. So that's bee weaver. We have hives in the, I know, right? I need a biscuit right now. And of course, they have a spicy honey. This next one I'm gonna give you is a reaper pepper, Carolina reaper that we infused. <laughs> a spicy honey. Don't cry like a baby when you try it. <laughs> I'll try my best. What's worse, getting stung by a bee or having the reaper honey? Well, it could be the reaper honey. Oh. Depends on what your what your uh, 
threshold is for heat. That's amazing. Put that on some pizza. Pizza! It's good on huh, pizza. Put it on a hamburger. Woo! That heat is kicking in at the end there. There's just some water. Oh, you were ready for that. I got it. That's good. Now, if you're looking for something to chew on, honeycomb is an option here. So this, so is, this actual is actual honeycomb. This is actual honeycomb. <laughs> chew it till all the honey's gone and then just spit the comb out. Mmm. Wow, that's something else right there. Isn't that good? That is sweet. While you'll have to bring your own milk, there is plenty of honey to go around. And getting an inside look at this family business for the ages is the bee's knees on the Texas bucket list. I was fortunate enough to learn from the best. Considering you have a family of generations doing it, I'd assume you guys are the best. <laughs> it's just amazing what you can take a beehive and make a do for you. I love the people, I love the honey, I love the story.